Hey guys, I know it's been forever since um, I uploaded a video, but I think it's kind of cool because the last video I have uploaded is a snack crate box just like this one, except for my little ones are like itty bitty. So now we kind of can just compare the two. If you don't know what snack crate is, it's, it's a snack subscription box and depending on what size you get is depending on the price you're going to pay. Right now they have a special going on where if it's your first time signing up, your small box will be only a dollar. So that's why we signed up for another one. And we're going to open this up and see where it's from because what Snack Crate does is it gets you snacks from different parts of the world. And I believe this one was a mystery box, so we don't even know what we got. So it's Beat the Heat. It gives you advice to put your box inside the refrigerator at least for two hours because it's outside whenever they deliver it to you and it's been hot and they could be melted. So we did do that. Um, our mystery one is from Poland. And inside here it's going to tell you what kind of snacks you got and it's giving you some fun facts as well. It comes with stickers and this is what these look like. And this is what the wrapping paper looks like. So we have some grapes to keep our little ones preoccupied. And we also have a drink. Sometimes these snacks are super freaking nasty. It's empty? Never mind, it's empty, so wish us luck. And of course, the first thing we have on top is chips. And it looks like a tea, so I'm going to say tapsy. It says, these savory potato snacks are made with the surprisingly delicious combination of cheese and onion flavor. Ooh. Uh, last night, my boyfriend and I had our own box to ourselves because we didn't want to share. And the chips were fried egg. Like, they just tasted disgusting. Oh, these look airy. Like, they don't look like regular potato chips. They look like, I don't know, they're just thick and soft, they're nasty. <laughs> kind of makes me not want to eat it. It tastes good. It tastes good. The texture, yeah. Not bad, honestly. It's good, this is good though. Like, let's say if my kids were small again, they wouldn't need to have so much teeth to eat this because it kind of like, once you bite into it, it dissolves. Yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Ew. She, like, she didn't want her grapes anymore. She wanted the chip. So those weren't bad at all. I think they taste pretty good. Here we have what looks like pretzels that are probably bacon flavored. I don't know. It says Palus. Paluski bacon, <laughs> crunchy pretzel sticks infused with delicious bacon flavor. The perfect accompaniment to a cold glass of Z-Wick, whatever that is. They're pretty long too. Here, you want to try your pretzel? Please. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy are always last. Like, the flavor hits you, like, right away. Then it goes away, and then it comes back. It kind of tastes like bacon bits. They're all right, too. Do you want some more chips? Hmm? I think she likes the chips. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's see. We have... Prince Polo. It's a classic, apparently. This Polish favorite features layers of crunchy wafer sandwiched together with chocolate cream, then coated in milk chocolate. So, like a nutter butter, right? Or it just doesn't have peanut butter. It's just chocolate and chocolate. So, just chocolate. <laughs> Egg white. Mmm. <laughs> That's pretty rich chocolate. Mm -hmm. And chocolate is pretty rich, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, 
we'll leave the snacks here. That was really rich chocolate. I'm not much of a chocolate fan when it comes to like cakes and stuff, but that's more like a candy bar. So it tastes pretty good. Um, then we have this heart, and it's called Piernik Sirs. You're going to heart this classic Polish gingerbread treat made from a recipe over 700 years old, a simply timeless here, recipe. Here. <laughs> it's like super soft. I was expecting it to be hard because the outside layer is pretty hard, but once you bite into it, it's like super soft. Like the outside of it, it melts in your mouth too. It's like just a hint of sweetness. I want some sweet. You want some sweet? Hey. Maddie, you want to try it? I'm just leaving her a little sampler on her tray. And last thing in our box are these gummies. We have, okay, these are all in, in Poland, so I'm just going to look at the wrappers. This one looks like it has pineapple, orange, and raspberry. And this one looks like pineapple, orange, and lime. There's three of them. Yeah. Here, you don't like it? Nah. Ooh, it smells good. Ooh. And it's like coated in sugar. First bite. I do. Oh my! <laughs> I do. It's a glow slow motion. <laughs> Was it good? I love pink green. You like the pink green? Yeah, pink green. Okay. Yay! I do like. Oh my gosh. Softest gummies ever. Open it. This is the softest gummies ever. Again, again, again. You like that one? I mean, the gummies are the best. The wrappers. So it wasn't bad. It was nice taste new stuff. And we have grapes just in case they were bad. But they were pretty good. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Just leave a comment down below how you felt about this video. And don't forget to like it. Bye.